Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and I just wanted to do a little follow-up to my last video where I showed you could mount two Gemba Red overclocks on the same DIY stand. However, you might notice that there's a problem. There's going to be a gap in between the panels, especially because you need to still access the controller on the side to turn it on and off. So you're going to have a three quarters inch gap right here, and then you're going to have about a two inch gap from the end of one LED to the next LED bridging that kind of gap. Now the problem that this creates is it creates kind of a, a cold spot or kind of a shadow kind of effect where you get less intensity over that midpoint where obviously that midpoint is where your torso is going to be aligned and, and most of your vital organs and where you want to target so it kind of creates a problematic situation that a lot of people might be noticing with modular panels that have very narrow beam angles is that you kind of have a, a gap in coverage right over your middle so that's why we usually just recommend getting one panel so that way you can just stand right in front of the panel and, and get that nice direct treatment but we're going to take some measurements and show that because we're using 60 degree beam angles that gap really gets filled in as long as you get the right distance away we measured about as long as you're about 20 inches away that gap kind of fills in and you actually get light kind of converging in from both of the panels into that point around 20 inches away and so that way you get more of a uniform coverage and all that light has kind of converged and it's filled in that gap and actually that point is now your new kind of center point of where you get the highest intensity as long as you're the right distance away so we're going to go through some measurements and kind of show you that and, and walk you through that so you can use the gimmer gimber red overclocks like this very efficiently and get a lot more coverage as long as you're the right distance away so that way you get that nice uniform uh, coverage with the right intensity so you can see at six inches away in front of that gap is a shadow but it's still 24 milliwatts per centimeter squared so that's it's not bad but it's going to be less than if you're directly in front of the panel and just center your body in front of a single panel so that's why you know i said uh, we discouraged the modular use and multi-panel use because you, you can actually get more you know you can target your center line your vital organs um, just by being centered on a single panel better than multiple panels so now we see the measurement at six inches away, just centered on one of the panels is 45 milliwatts per centimeter squared. So you see there's a big differential that if you're standing directly in front of the panel at six inches away, you're getting 45, but over that shadow is about 25 which is pretty good because we use 60 degree beam angle lenses so it's already filling in that gap pretty well um, but generally you would just move further away until you kind of close that gap and let the light diffusion kind of close that gap so we're going to do another measurement at 20 inches away right in front of the gap so now we see at 20 inches away when we measure in front of that gap we actually get 31 milliwatts per centimeter squared so we've increased the intensity over that gap region that was much lower is about 24 or 25 and now we've increased it because we've allowed the beams to kind of overlap and kind of converge together over that center point so now we've we've been able to increase it by moving further away so now i've remeasured directly in line in the center point of one of the panels at 20 inches away and you see the measurements now 28 milliwatts per centimeter squared so now these two are working together as a unit once you've moved further away they're working together and kind of blending everything together and becoming kind of a new unit but you have to increase your distance away to use it properly so around 20 inches away we see everything's kind of evened out and you kind of get more of a homogeneous uh, uniform treatment at 20 inches away and now you get a lot more coverage area obviously now that you're using two panels you space it away to eliminate the gaps in the shadows and now you're getting you know more uniform treatment between 28 to 30 milliwatts per centimeter squared so this is an important point if companies are selling modular panels are they really testing all the modules together or kind of assuming uh, all the panels individually will kind of just add together um, so you know it's kind of behaving as kind of a new kind of light source that you would have to remeasure with multiple panels to kind of find out what's the optimal way to use it so this is a good tip um, that we can provide to you is if you use two panels of our overclock panels and even with that gap be at least about 20 inches away and then it creates kind of a new kind of beam uniformity that you get much more coverage and if you know people want more of a luxurious experience with a couple of our panels and then, then they can go for it uh, but like i said 
said, you can always just start with one and you should get most of the full body benefits with just one panel that covers most of your torso. And we can appreciate that most of the full body red light therapy studies use the Novathor bed, which reports to be 28 milliwatts per centimeter squared, according to the studies. And they do a dose around 12 to 20 minutes per treatment. And so even at a very practical distance away, about 20 inches away with this two panel setup, you get a very safe evidence-based, you know, proven to be effective dose where with a lot of panels, if they've got narrow beam angles and a lot of power, you might have to be very far away to get this adequate dose that's evidence-based and, and proven to be safe and effective. So hopefully that helps. I just thought it'd be interesting to address uh, that if you do end up uh, going with two overclock panels, or if you go with multiple panels that you can't really butt to butt, um, you can still get a lot of beam uniformity at the right distance away. Maybe you have to increase your distance away and allow more of that overlapping uh, beam angle coverage. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for tuning in.